along, someone has already 2JZ swapped the A90 Toyota Supra. The new 2020 Supra hasn't even been released yet, but someone has already 2JZ swapped it. The old saying goes, out with the old, in with the new, but when you're talking about the new Toyota Supra, it's out with the new, in with the old. Daigo Saito, a famous drifter in Japan, has done what the internet's been wanting to see ever since the details of the new Toyota Supra have been released. Daigo and his drift team must have had access to either a prototype shell of this car or some other pre-release body of the A90 Supra and have already completed the 2JZ swap. Now as far as I can tell, the other details as far as what transmission they're using, differential, and all the other drivetrain components haven't been really released. But we do know he'll be looking to extract around 800 horsepower from the 2JZ. Now, why would Daigo and his team want to do this? Is this some kind of statement saying that the B58 is inferior to the 2JZ, or is this some kind of statement saying they wanted a, a fully Toyota power plant and drivetrain in this car? I really don't think so. This is more for practicality. The 2JZ has been used in many drift cars is a proven platform, has a huge aftermarket. So if he's looking to race this car in a drift event coming up, I mean, he can't wait for the aftermarket to pick up on the B58. So why not go with the tried and true 2JZ? He knows the aftermarket is plentiful for that car. So if he's trying to do some 800 horsepower build, I really don't know if the B58 has the aftermarket support to provide the parts he needs. And really for anybody that's gonna buy this car brand new and swap out a new age engine to throw in a 20 to 30 year old 2JZ, I really don't think that makes sense. Once these cars enter the used market and they start getting cheaper and cheaper, I'm sure that's gonna be a more popular option, but buying a brand new car just to throw in an old engine really doesn't make sense. Now looking through these pictures, it seems like Daigo had access to maybe some kind of bare shell prototype, because you can tell there's not a lot of interior parts and pretty much it's just a stripped down shell that he could use to build whatever car he wanted, but still have the overall look of the A90 Supra. So it shouldn't be misconstrued as he was given a brand new A90 2020 Supra and pretty much stripped it down. He pretty much already had a stripped down shell that he could pretty much build whatever car he wanted. Now all the specs in this build haven't been released, but there is one video of it actually driving around. So this is an actual working driving car. And man, does that 2JZ sound so good. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for stopping by. I can tell in the future we're gonna see many, many more of these two Jay-Z swapped A90 Supras.